What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to capture ourselves a new Pokemon, I think. Did we? Yeah, we did. We captured a new Pokemon. We learned about secret bases and all that stuff. It took us about 20 minutes to learn all about that. Yeah, literally 20 minutes. And uh, now it is time for us to go straight to Route 112 all the way to Fall Arbor Town because... That's what we need to do. Um, one thing that I needed, one thing that I did was I switched out my bike to the mock bike because I thought that I was going to need the acro bike right here, but it turns out I didn't. So I'm going to go right there, and then we're going to just start be we're going to start battling people and doing a whole bunch of fun stuff because you know that's what we do right here. We do a lot of fun stuff, a lot of fun shit and stuff. So let's go ahead and switch out to our Pokemon Vesuvius and uh, let's take care of business right now. Hold on, come on, talk to me. Huh, what are you doing in a place like this? Could it be that you, you're you lost too? I'm not really lost, buddy. So here we go, another battle, and we're going to be going against Dion, the backpacker, and he's coming out with his Lanoon. I got one of those too. It's a pretty cool Pokemon, even though I don't use it all the time. And here we have Vesuvius, the Pokemon, the master, the guy that we got. And so let's go with the Flame Burst, see if we can burn some stuff right here. And yeah, it's not going to be fast, it's not going to be as powerful right now, but trust me guys, it's going to get a little strong right here. Look at that. Bam. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use a mag uh, Magnitude. And here comes that Headbutt attack. And, uh, good God, takes it took a lot of our, our HP right there. So, here we go, Magnitude 7, and that didn't do anything, except just weaken it a little. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight for Sage of the Halo right here. And hopefully, hopefully it's a better uh, a, a better outcome right here. So here we go, Sage of the Halo coming. Coming in hot. And here is that Mud Sport attack. Don't know why you're throwing that at me. I do have an electric type Pokemon, but not planning on using it. So here we go, Leaf Blade. Take this. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well... There we go, no more Lanoon and Vesuvius gaining some points for battling, and yes, we took care of, <laughs> we took care of this, I lost my way in battle too, uh, poor guy. Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon, it's always a nice thing to do right here, so let's see, what do we got? Let's see, Super Potion, let's get this to this guy, Vesuvius. And uh, let's move on right here. As you can see, there are two places that you can actually get, or actually one place that you can actually get another secret base, a rock one. This would actually lead you to the other direction near the desert, but that is not existed anymore. And uh, here is a place where you can actually get a secret base. Eventually, I'm going to have to find you guys. And, uh, well, I watered the plants every day. They grew lots of flowers, and they gave me lots of berries, too. Here, you can have one. And here we have a raspberry, which is nice. And, well, she will be giving us uh, berries every single day. So that's always nice. And, uh, well, I think we're just like, we're stocking up on a lot of berries right here. Eventually, we're going to have to plant some. That's always the plan. And uh, here we go. Plant and grab this. And here we go. Got, an, got ourselves another raspberry. And now we're moving forward right here. Let's see. Oh, we're going to find some Ace Trainers, and she's going to be looking at us all strange. Oh, you and your Pokemon look quite strong. We simply must have a battle. Okay. Alrighty. Well, here we go. Ace Trainer Brooke would like to battle, and she's coming out with her Wingle. I picked the wrong Pokemon for this one. God dang it. Vesuvius, you're not... Nobody likes you right now. So we're going to switch up to Raiden, the Lord of Thunder. All right. No, I... He's the god of thunder. My bad, my bad. I'm thinking of Thor. He's the lord of thunder. And, uh, well, here's that water pulse attack. And passerby Diablo says nice to me. So I would like to thank you. Thank you for, for saying nice to me. Don't know if you're one of my YouTuber fans or anything like that, but still thanks. And uh, look at that. No more Wingle. Raiden gets points. Vesuvius grows to level 18. And everybody's happy and Zigzags Zig 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 is, you know, leveling up like nothing. And, uh, well, let's go to Hydra 2, even though it doesn't have any uh, water attacks. And uh, let's just take care of business, even though it's just like, you know, it has both its typings, good typings and all that stuff. So here we go, Numel, the other Numel. And uh, 
Yes, I will be intimidating you because I am scary like that. Especially Blood Red. Here we go. Dragon Rage. That's right. And, uh, well, you're going to be focusing up for no reason at all. Because here comes a Dragon Tail. Oh, God. And, oh, really? Amnesia? You're going to be using Amnesia? You suck. Okay. Now, I got a, like, I got a question in the last, uh, about two episodes ago. Uh, yeah. Nep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on. What was I saying? Well, okay, so I got a question in the last two episodes, and they, they were asking me, how come you're not, how come you didn't uh, put up any, uh, any sidebars or any kind of background or layout for Pokemon Omega Ruby? It, it would be one of these games that, you know, I'm basically paraphrasing right here. Uh, well, the main reason is this. Uh, well, it is a remake game. A big remake game. And, uh, yeah, th this is a game that I would normally put a layout background or anything like that. The only problem is that I also want to... I also want to come out with, a, but like, a buttload of episodes. All in one setting or all in one week and all that stuff. And making a background... Making a background and, uh, well, making a background or, and, and putting it right there onto my, uh, recording program and all that stuff, it takes a lot of time. And, uh, the truth be told, I actually did make a background for this. The only problem was, it, it was on the day that I said that I was going to come out with five episodes. And uh, that, like, the episode's coming out five, like, five episodes plus this whole layout thing. Yeah, it wasn't going to work well. It really wasn't, so I decided to nix the whole background thing, and, uh, you know, I just went with this. Just, you're looking at the top part. I mean, maybe, 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 just maybe, if I play Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, if I come out with that walkthrough, which I probably don't think I will, and it's just a thought. Maybe I will, you know, put in a layout or anything like that, but, I, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this one, since this is just a, uh, this is just a, uh, a remake and you know we already know what, what we're looking for and all that stuff right here plus I'll be honest with you guys I could tell I could tell like uh, I could tell you what, what's going on on the bottom and anything and eh, it's just one of those things that you know kind of feel a little lazy doing too even though I did make the layout and uh, would you look at that our girlfriend's right here hey she's like the road is pretty long huh I got tired enough that I had to uh, take a little break Draven you're your Pokemon look pretty tired themselves. Let me check them for a sec. Holy crud. Okay, so I, I healed up for no apparent reason. Good God. There, that's better. I'm on my way to pay a visit to Professor Cosmo. He's a famous, uh, he's famous for his research on meteorites. He was working on a project with my dad, um, I mean Professor Birch, on how meteorites might affect Pokemon. Enough dawdling. I think, uh, wait, 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 I didn't misread that. Hold on, just a sec. Oh, wait, it's, it's this right here. I think it's much for, farther uh, uh, to Fall Arbor. Let's give it one push. I was listening to, like, some clicking sounds, and I was like, what the, where the hell is this from? Okay, so here we are in Route 113, and it is known for its, uh, well, the, the ash coming out of the volcano right here. And would you look at that? Hold on, just a sec. Okay, I just heard a Pokemon that I've that's familiar. Oh yeah, okay, so <laughs> Okay, this is a Pokemon that sounds very very familiar. I'm gonna go straight at it. Alright, let's go. Okay, so here we have a Skarmory. And I'm gonna go with Vesuvius right here, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and weaken this Pokemon and try and capture it because, as many of you guys already know, that happens to be Skyblade or Star or yeah, Skyblade, yeah. So I'm gonna try and do that, and uh, there we go. Takes a little bit, and I'm gonna try and do it again, Flame Burst. Try not to make it faint, and uh, well, there comes a Swift Attack, and Vesuvius is not doing so well so far, and. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to be switching out my Pokemon because I really don't want Vesuvius to, like, hate me or something. So, let's go with Hydra 2. And, uh, alrighty. You won't destroy me at all. And uh, another good thing about 
Skarmory is that it is, it's a steel tap Pokemon. It's good for me because I'm gonna, I'm planning on doing some, uh, I'm planning on doing a, well, a physical attack, but let me see if I can throw a Pokeball at it. Actually, that's the wrong one. So here we go, Pokeballs. Uh, let's go with the Great Ball right here. All right. So as many of you guys already know, in Pokemon Emerald, I did capture a Skarmory and put it on my team, named it Skyblade. And uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna try and do that right here. Trying to weaken it and then uh, eventually capture it. So here we go. God damn, this Pokemon's fast, and it's kicking my it's kicking my Hydra's ass right now. And uh, okay, I got one more attack right here. One more. Come on, let's go. Okay, so it's weak enough. It was a critical hit by by all means. It was funny. And uh, well, that was another critical hit right there. So. Yo, come on! Don't be hitting me five times, you asshole! Oh, you suck. Okay, you're definitely gonna get caught. So let's go right here. Let's throw another Gray Ball at it. Come on! Gray Ball, go! Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the fucking ball. You asshole, you. God dang it! Alright. And it likes to use Faint. Alright, come on! Don't be a bitch. Be my Pokemon. <laughs> I'm just yelling at it right now. Come on, stay in the ball. God dang it! This freaking Pokemon right here. It's just, it's gonna try and make my Pokemon faint right here. With its faint attack. Come on. Come on, Skarmory. You know you want to be on my team. Stay in the ball. God dang it! Ah. Uh. Kind of like a legendary Pokemon right here. It just will not get captured. And uh, here's my last Great Ball right here. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Stay in the ball. Fuck you. Uh, this Pokemon right here. Well. Uh, God damn it. God damn it. Let's see what kind of Pokemon. Okay. Uh, I don't think a repeat ball will do any good right here. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Okay, I'm, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and capture this Pokemon off screen. Really, really, it, it just got on my nerves right now. So, I'm going to make you faint, you asshole Pokemon. I'm gonna use Raiden. Or better yet, hold on. Ah, crap baskets, okay. I, I got Thunder Wave right here. So, I'm gonna paralyze it. Alrighty, so I kind of have some kind of advantage right here, and well, there goes that there goes that move. So let's go right ahead and uh, fuck it. Let's go with the premier ball, even though it's just a pokeball, a regular one. There we go, pokeball go. Stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball, mother. Mm. Oh my god, this is the reason why this video is going to last a little longer, because this Pokemon right here, I'm letting this Pokemon kick all my Pokemon's asses, and then uh, it just won't stay in a goddamn ball. Come on! Stay in the ball. Stay in the fucking ball. You asshole freaking Skarmory, you! Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Well... I got Pokeballs and Netballs, and I, for sure Netballs are not going to work on this guy, so I'm just going to try and capture it with the, with the Pokeball. Come on. Come on! Stay in the ball! Mother... <clears throat> okay. Okay, so I made three of my Pokemon faint. You are a fucking asshole. Alright, let's go with Gigas right here, or Sigas. Alright. I swear to God, this is like capturing a goddamn legendary Pokemon right here. It's unnecessary. Come on. Stay in the fucking ball, you asshole Skarmory, you. God damn it. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. You're going down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. With one more Pokeball. Come on. Come on! Stay in the fucking ball! Oh my God. One. Oh, God! Mm. Okay, fuck you, Skarmory. You and your fucking... Okay, hold on. Alright, eat this headbutt. Fuck you. 
And, uh, yeah, it, it just gives me a faint. Fuck you, goddamn Skarmory. I'll capture you later. Fuck you. Goddamn. Goddamn Skarmory, bitch ass. Yeah, 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 Sage grows to level 32. God damn it, man, this is really annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go all the way back because this damn fucking Skarmory just... Oh, God. Okay, so we're back right here, and there's another goddamn Skarmory waiting for me. Let's see what this one looks like. If it, if it has the proper stuff, then I'll probably consider capturing it. Nope, level 18, fuck you. Nuh-uh. You know what, I'm gonna do this off-screen because... Look at that, they, they're all over the place, and... Tempting as they can be, they just... Oh, God, it's a level 18. Okay, not gonna do that. You know what? Let's just go straight for the battles, because I wasted a lot of time just trying to capture a level 26 goddamn Skarmory. That was the only rare thing that you could actually find with it. Oh, my God. And, uh, well, would you look at that? Trapage. It's a nice Pokemon. It'd be a shame if, uh... It'd be a shame if I uh, destroyed it with a little bit of magnitude right here. Maybe, I don't know. Trapage is a very slow Pokemon. And here we go. Not as effective. And here we go with a dig attack right here. Alright, well, I'm going to switch Pokemon right here because that's a good strategy. Hydra 2? Wait, hold on. Ah, oh, crap ass, because this guy has Arena Trap. Okay, so I'm going to have to brace myself right here. Uh, let's go with another Magnitude. And yeah, it actually does work since it's using Dig. Alrighty, so I'm actually not wasting an attack right here, and, uh, oh my god. Oh my god, Numo, you are horrible. Oh my god. Oh, god damn it, man. What the hell is the matter? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it, it's been super unlucky right now. Oh my god. How many fucking times do I have to go to that old lady to get myself healed? God damn. Oh my god. Okay, so Raiden's learning Bite right here. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and, uh... Well, let's give it... Let's let's take away Howl Attack right here. God damn. I think I have a rare candy. I think I do. Okay, I might give it to, to this guy right here. And, wow, an Electrike. Wow, you know what? I'm gonna have to stick right here. Oh my god. So here's another episode where you're going to hear good old Draven just cuss his brains out because... God damn. Did I pick the wrong Pokemon? Should I just gone with Raphael? Which, by the way, I, ca I captured off screen. I did. Literally ca captured him off screen. It's fucking annoying. God damn. Alright. Okay, so I do have a rare candy, I think. I was going to sell it for extra money, but... I'm going to have to give it to this guy right here. So it's at level 19, and it's revived, and uh, it is learning Amnesia. So I'm going to take away one move right here, and that would have to, that would have to be uh, freaking Focus Energy. And uh, let's see. Now let's use a goddamn Super Potion. Okay, and then uh, hold on just a sec. So off screen too, I've been, like, whatever money I've been earning, I've actually been buying little by little the moves, the important moves that you can actually get over at Goldenrod, or not Goldenrod, but, uh, what was it called, uh, Mauville City. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm actually, what, what the hell am I, yeah, okay, so, okay, wrong one. Hold on just a sec. Um, by number, okay, so, let's see, I'm looking at I got a few good moves. Like, I got Volt Switch. I could give that to uh, to Raiden right now. So what, that's exactly what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to give that to Raiden. And... Let's see. What move should I take? It, what move should I take? So I'm going to take away Thunder Fang right here. Because it's not that powerful. Plus, not that, uh, not that accurate. And then I got Bulldoze right here. Which I could give to... To Vesuvius, let's see, what, how much does it take? I should take away em Ember right here. Okay. And, uh, let's see, we got Dragon Tail, I already gave that to a Pokemon. And Power Up Punch, I don't really need it. Okay, so we're set. And, uh, actually there is one move, one move that I could give to uh, Vesuvius. And I, I, I can't believe I haven't thought about it. 
I'm gonna give that to I'm gonna give strength to it since it does have high attack. Let's see, yeah, it does have high attack. So let's see. Um, yeah, you know what? Amnesia. <laughs> it just learned amnesia, and I just take it away. I was thinking strategically, then freaking brutally. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do this right here. It's fun getting myself half buried in the mountain of covered in ash. Okay, that's good. Let's see, we get that. And I hear another freaking uh, Skarmory calling me, but I'm not going to do anything except battle this girl right here. Fairy type Pokemon are highly flammable, so do be careful. Are they? So are they weak against fire or fire type Pokemon? Here we go. We're going to be going up against a Curlio right here. And this may not be the best choice because, yeah, this Pokemon right here is level 22. So let's go right ahead and switch out right here. And uh, do we have a poison type Pokemon? I don't think so. No. No, we don't. So let's go with Sage of the Halo. If ever, if ever there is trouble, go to Sage of the Halo. <laughs> and here comes a lucky chant. And... Uh, yeah, mm, okay, so critical hits are off the table. Let's go with some Pursuit right here. Not super effective since uh, Curlia, it is, it, is a, uh, it is a fairy type Pokemon, so it will not take that, or it does resist it. So let's go with Leaf Blade, finish this guy off. Here we go. That's right, for the win, suck it. You know, we could have been done in 20 minutes, except here we are at 20 minutes later because freaking Vesuvius couldn't, take a goddamn beating and here we beat Franny okay all right so what do we have here okay so if you go through the ashes guys you will find sometimes you will find items sometimes you'll find people those goddamn ninja guys you'll probably find those guys so yeah these skarmories are calling for me I will capture one of you bastards later but you kind of sort of took away all my pokeballs you assholes and here we go. Oh, damn, a Spinda. Now, I think many of you guys already know Spindas. Their spots, not not always the same, so... Yeah, just giving you a heads up right there, and god damn it. Oh, god, okay, come on. We gotta run away. Oh, god dang. Okay, so... Oh, god, I'm gonna have to switch Vesuvius out, because it's both slow, and it's not ready to battle anybody right now. Might as well be whoring off my, uh, my experiences. So here we go. From out the ashes, I leap. hi -ya! I challenge thee. Alrighty. Here we go. Ninja Boy Lao, and he will be coming out with a coughing. I think I picked the right Pokemon for this one. Let's go. Right here. So we're tracing the Levitate. And luckily for us... We got confusion. We got a we got a psychic type attack right here, and that takes out coughing. You see, why couldn't it be like that? Eh, it's never that easy. And here we go. He's coming out with another coughing, so we're gonna stay put and uh, stay with this guy of the fierce knight right here. Now, again, you guys are probably getting sick and tired of hearing this shit, but you know, for those who are new, do excuse the lagginess right here. Yeah, please excuse it. It's you know, homebrew, internet, that kind of stuff. Doing the best I can in all that crud. And hopefully, well, about 80% of the videos right now. Yeah, 80% of the videos right now, they, they, they've been uh, they've been good. Except for episode 6, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, really sorry about that. But here it is, guys. We're going to be going up against another coughing. And, uh, well, bring it on, coughing. All you're doing is just powering up my Pokemon right here. Let's go with a disarming voice. Why did I do that? I wasn't thinking. I really wasn't. And here comes that fart attack. God dang. See, this is what happens when I don't think straight and I'm just like thinking out of anger. God damn Vesuvius. I might have to switch that Pokemon up. I really do, because God. And there we go. Super effective. Takes away everything and... Uh, Alrighty, and Lao has been defeated. Okay, that's a good thing that you admit defeat right there. Good for you. Good for you, kid. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon yet again. Oh, wow, I had to revive. I had three of those bastards. Yeah, okay. 
All right, let's move on right here. And we got a Parasailor girl. And uh, she is going to be looking all filthy because of this whole thing. I use Parasail to ward off this filthy, yucky, ashy uh, volcano ash from my near Numel. You do realize that Numel is a volcano Pokemon, right? Oh my god. Spoiled ass people. Here we go, Numel. Bring it. Oh well. Your Pokemon's a little stronger than mine. Well, my Numel, and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and, uh, take care of this with, uh, Confusion right here. Here we go, Confusion. Finish him off. And, uh, well, there comes that Lava Plume. Ah, oh, crud. It's a very powerful move. And, uh, just like that, we're burned to a goddamn crisp. And, well, let's go ahead and use that Disarming Voice this time. Please, let's get this one. Come on. And it nearly takes him out. And another sunny day. Okay. Alrighty. See what you're doing? It's nighttime, but there's the sun. And I'm getting burned really to a crisp. So here we go. Let's get it. Disarming voice. Come on. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. And more people getting experience points. And Madeline has been defeated. Yes, you are exhausted, young lady. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go... You know what? Let's go with Hydra. Let's go with Hydra. And, uh, well, let's see. Before we do anything, we got to be prepared about this, guys. We really have to. So let's go with a Sodi Pop. Give this to the guy. I think I do have a, a Lava Cookie. Yes. Give that to that. Okay. Speaking of which, lava cookies are dis delicious. And here we get attacked by another Pokemon. And it's a Sandshrew! Alrighty. You know, I've always liked Sandshrew just because of its design. I really do. And uh, I always thought that it was going to be like a very powerful Pokemon. But then when I started learning about Pokemon typings and stats and all that crud. Yeah. Not that strong of a Pokemon. And here we have TM32 Double Team. Very good strategic uh, move. Alright, let's get the heck out of here and move on ahead and battle another person right here. The volcano's eruption is proof that the world is alive. Oh, you don't say. You don't say, homeboy. So here we go. Youngster Dylan wanting to battle us. And he is coming out with an Auron right here. Alright. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I probably should still go ahead and capture that Auron that I've been trying to do. Actually, I'm going to do that like... I'm going to start capturing a buttload of Pokemon right after we finish up the Fall Arbor Town. That, that, that was the whole plan right there, guys, because normally I'd take about... Well, I'll probably take about like maybe a good 15 hours of in-game play just to... Well, just to capture Pokemon, strengthen them up, and all that stuff. That's what this game has uh, caused, or made us do right there. It taught us how to capture rays and all that stuff a little bit better. And, uh, well, here we go with uh, another Pokemon right here. And he's going to be using a Roar God Dang Attack. Uh, well, let's see. You know what? Screw it. Let's go with a Rock Smash. It does have that... Oh, God dang it! Again, I'm like trying to beat these guys quickly, but this guy using his God dang Protect Attack... There we go. Let's go, Zigzags. That's right, we're using Zigzags right here. It's going up against a goddamn all around. It's not taking shits from anybody. Honey Badger, don't give a fuck. There we go. That is how you do it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Everybody's getting experience points, and we defeat Dylan. All right, yes, I'm that strong asshole. Okay, so let's move on ahead right here. And not be attacked by anything else. And god dang. These Skarmories are calling for me. They're like telling me <laughs> you couldn't you couldn't capture our good old buddy Skarmory, so try to capture this Skarmory right here. Alright, so once you go in here, you talk to this guy, he's gonna be like, This area is covered in volcanic ash. Pink pink. This uh, I'm specifically gifted. Pink pink. Um, I make ga glass out of uh, volcano ash and then use the glass to make items, pink pink. Uh, go collect that ash with uh, with this, Pink Pink. 
And yes, we get a suit sack, and this will actually... Well, we have to collect glass, or we have to collect ashes in order to make f different kinds of flutes and all that stuff. Now, it's far different from the original games, uh, Pokemon Ruby, uh, uh, Ruby Sapphire and uh, Emerald, where you can walk through the grass and you can easily get as many ashes as you want. You actually have to go through the big piles of ashes just to get, uh, yeah, just to get a freaking flute. They made it a lot harder, that which... You know, basically means that it, it's, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So, like, look at that. They, it always comes back. And this guy's like, wow, today's technology is a wondrous thing. Take this volcanic ash here. It can be uh, fashioned into glass. That's nice. And there is a Skarmory right there, which I don't want to capture right now. Okay, so we are done with this episode right here. Are we? No, there should be two trainers waiting for us, probably. Oh, no. Okay, so we finally made it to Far Larbor Town, and, uh, yeah, I am sick and tired of, uh, dealing with people's BS right now. I really am. So, before we end everything, you go right here near your PC, you talk to this lady, she's gonna be like, Oh, hello! You are? Okay, you're Draven. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means that you use the Pokemon storage system that I developed. How I arrived at the conclusion is a simple deductive process. I spoke to... You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Uh, honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great that you're using the, the storage system. If you could, please visit me at my home. Uh, at home. My home is at Route 114. Okay. Alrighty. So that's the final thing that we got. And, uh, well, we will be continuing our adventure right here in Fall Arbor Town. And uh, whatever... It, you know, tidbits it has. I hear Team uh, Team Magma's here or something. I don't know. But yeah, off screen, I will be capturing that goddamn Skarmory. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the reason why I didn't capture it. I'm pretty sure many of you guys have binge watched this before, but I'll tell you why I didn't capture uh, Skarmory. Carol fucking Basket. That's right. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.